the arts. They have other advantages alongside the physical benefits. The arts are an activity that helps your physical well-being and makes you feel good. However, what many people forget is it also helps your mental well-being too. Researchers have discovered that while you take part in activities such as dance, it not only makes you sweat, but it also releases feel-good chemicals inside the body of a dancer. Someone who's benefited from dance is Jenny. Over the last few years, she has found dance as a way of escaping a tough period of her life. When I arrived at uni and I met my first housemates, which were picked by the university, they fell into a social group who drank a lot and were involved with drugs and I made sure I stayed far away from that as possible. When they brought those drugs back home with them mm. in the house that we were sharing together, I would ask them nicely to remove them from the house. Yes, yeah, which is fair enough. But they didn't take kindly to that and it resulted into both verbal and physical violence and to the point where I would lock myself in my room. I'd live off dry food to avoid having to go downstairs to cook, to avoid ever seeing them because every time I would see them they'd find an opportunity to abuse me and be horrible to me, mm. shout names at me. They never referred to me as my name, they'd always call me oi bitch. <laughs> um, that's when I, I decided I had to I had to just live in my room and lock myself in there and only leave when I knew they were out of the house. And then in the evenings I discovered that they're out on Fridays, which conveniently a local ballet school had lessons. And that's when I'd leave Friday nights to go to my ballet school. So ballet was something that I've always used as a way to escape from stressful situations and to meet new people, to socialise and escape from my studies. Okay. Without dance I would have dropped out. Mm. It was the only place I could go. It was like a place of refuge that I could escape to whilst everything else was going chaotic. Jenny had to reset her first year at university as she didn't want to leave the house. She eventually moved to another flat where she was a lot happier. She thought everything was a lot better, however in her second year things took a turn for the worst when she had received bad news about her friend Luke. See I went back home for Christmas and I saw my friends from college again, including Luke who then took his life in January. Mm -hmm. And when I got back to Bournemouth, when I went back to university after Christmas holidays, I received a message from my closest friend, my closest friend of the group, saying, have you seen Luke? Mm. He's gone missing again. A week later, I find on social media, someone shared a link to the Liverpool Echo, saying they found a body on a local beach, so the docks in Liverpool. Yeah. And at this point, even though the body wasn't identified, we're feeling a very on edge mm. because we haven't heard from Luke at all. How long was it since you haven't since you heard from him? Well, I hadn't heard from him since Christmas. Yeah. But my friends hadn't heard from him for about a week at that point, mm. week and a half. And the family, his family, are obviously worried, yeah. and we're worried because normally we're the ones that know first. Mm. And then I think it was about about two or three days after that, they identify him as 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 Luke. Mm. So who did you turn to at that time? Did you turn to your friends or your parents or...? I turned to my friends back at home, which was hard to do because yeah. I had no friends at uni at this point. People were friendly with me, but I didn't have any friend I could go and sit to mm. or even cry with. Mm. So I, that's when I would stay up at... I was at 2 o'clock in the morning when my friend had texted me saying, we found Luke, mm. but he's, he's dead. And that was at 2 in the morning yeah. and I was at uni studying. Yeah. And I just got up and I just sat in front of Weymouth House and I just cried on the sofa on the phone to, at first my friend, mm -hmm. my best friend up from back home, and then I rang my mum, mm -hmm. who luckily was on a night shift, so she was awake anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was hard. I felt, I felt isolated because I had no one with me. My home is like two and a half hours away. Mm -hmm. And obviously just moved house into just your new house. house. Yeah. So I did feel... I did feel alone, yeah. and my friends at, at ballet, my Friday ballet lessons, were the closest thing I had to make me feel less yeah. alone. Over 16 million people in the UK experience a mental health issue. With this figure on the rise and huge waiting lists for free treatment, many people are looking for other ways to help themselves. 
Marta, a drama therapist, explains how the arts is an alternative treatment. Drama therapy is a very gentle and um, non-direct way of approaching psychotherapy and um, so it's not normally it's not intimidating and so particularly when people struggle to articulate what the problem is. Um, drama therapy doesn't just go and say okay let's talk about the problem. Drama therapy allows to kind of enter the issue from the from the from a side uh, through the use of metaphor and symbolism uh, so that sometimes you you go very very quickly very deep because you are engaged in basically in playing dancing like other creative expressive techni techniques when there is the bereavement like that and the trauma in a way um, they they can help you see and bring out and in in the case of dance literally physically bring out and give shape to feelings which are overwhelming and you can't find words for them so when you can't find words for feelings you need to use art and the, using the body when the feeling can be so primitive and really felt deep 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 inside us i think it can bring a sort of catharsis and relief as a first thing during Jenny's time at uni, she joined the Dance Society. This has given her a way of dealing with her mental health and it has given her the chance to grow in confidence as she worked her way up to be president. It's so helped with happier. my, my welfare, yeah. it's helped with my confidence. I now know that I have a voice yeah. and dancing has helped me with that, knowing that I, I too can have an opinion. Activities such as the arts really do benefit your mental well-being and it should be something that people use as an alternative treatment to therapy. For more information, visit the NHS website.